Oh, what an adventure! <laughs> Get lost with Google Maps. Good morning everybody. Oh the sun's coming out again. It's not too hot but it's not too cold. It's just right. Goldilocks day. Um we got some changes happening. As you all know we're getting ready for a huge camping trip. And uh we'll talk about it a little bit in this video. And uh I'm just waiting for stuff to be made. And then we'll do some videos on it. But this is a little catch-up video. So you um, know what the next series of videos are going to be about. Now let's talk about solar and batteries. So on our um, last trip, it was a really, really great test of this split cell solar panel which out of the back of the solar panel was pushing 12 amps. This is um, one that Silvio um, gave me. And as you all know, eSolar's been my channel sponsor right from the word go just about. They're absolutely uh, fantastic up there. But um, on my last camping trip, we were at where we were at Eaglestone Rock. Um, there's a video there called Eaglestone Rock. Now there we had three days of solid rain. When we got there, the Salt Lake was empty. And when we left, it was sort of like half full. And the Solar King batteries, the uh, lithium batteries that I put in here, um, there's also a series of videos about the lithium battery install for that. Um, performed absolutely brilliantly now on the at the end of the third day and at the start of the fourth fourth day uh, the batteries were sitting at 30 percent state of charge okay now these are two 100 amp hour batteries okay um i did mention it in the video but i don't think many of you understood what that meant but 30 percent state of charge meant that these two 100 amp hour batteries only had 15 amps left in each battery okay 15 amps and they are true 100 amp hour batteries okay you get 100 amps out of them um so over the course of the the, the all that heavy rain and really thick cloud over over three days we've just about run them dead flat and we had to go into uh, the caravan park there. We stayed one night in the caravan park, charged them all back up again. And um, yeah, uh, after after that, the rain had stopped and we just went on camping as normal. But I mean, I'm really, really wrapped in the way these batteries are performing and how much power I, I, they give me. And they allow us to run all sorts of electric stuff. It's a totally brilliant. Anyway, um, Solar King have, have come on board and now they're, they're uh, a, a channel sponsor of mine as well, which is just totally awesome. Thank you very much, Glenn, at Solar King. Um, and, I mean, it means a lot to me, you know, that, 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 that they ap appreciate, you know, um, my videos enough to, to actually... Uh, become a channel sponsor and, and that's just awesome totally awesome but anyway let's get on with the work I'm doing on the on the ute now um, on the ute because of, actually because because of the way the batteries are performed I'm going to be using another solar king battery on the back of the ute so uh, basically what we're what we're having done we're having some alum, aluminium boxes made um, which is going to go over here across the back and down the side 
and it's going to leave a space in the middle um, and basically we're making it so that we can um, lock stuff up and the stuff in the middle unless they go to a lot of trouble can't be easily uh, picked up but on the ute we're making the ute more independent in this back box um, which is going to be from here it's going to go up to there and all the way back there it's going to leave this uh, step area clear on this back box we're going to put a um, uh, a solar king one of the latest batteries one of the uh, light ones there I think they're just over three kilos lighter than the ones that are in the trailer <coughs> excuse me because it is going to be sitting right on the back right on the very back of the ute so you don't want anything heavy on the back of the ute but um, basically it's going to be power the ute um, the, the, the electronics for the ute it's going to power the bed and everything else and uh, the lights um, and er er everything else we put on the ute a water pump and all sorts of stuff it's going to um, power everything and also in that box is going to be the filtering system um, because there's simply nowhere to really put it on the camper trailer uh, there's going to be the filter system that you've seen in the ultimate filter system build that's all going to be mounted on here and um, yeah we're, so um, we're just getting making everything more comfortable uh, if we get to a, a, a campsite and it's really rough we can set our main camp up and we can continue on the rough rough track in the ute and stay overnight if we want to and um, then come back to the main camp because um, we are going to be right out right on the edge of the uh, little sandy desert in our next trip and, and going up into the great sandy desert so it's going to be fun but you know there's a bit of prep work in it um, and we're just basically making everything so that we can have two separate camps um, so yeah that's 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 what we're we're up to and um, of course there's only one battery to use I'm so happy with those batteries that I've got in there that we're putting another solar king uh, battery in, in here and I do fully recommend them you know I mean you know me if, if something's good you'll see me use it all right and the fact that they come on as a sponsorship says a lot to me and remember it wasn't all clean sailing when I put the when I put the um, first batteries in the trailer I did have a DOA and, and this is how I I judge uh, companies and they there was just no qualms you know um, they sent me a new one give me a, a docket the old one got sent back um, there just no problem at all with them you know it's 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 brilliant uh, and I just changed it over and I haven't had a problem with the battery since they've been performing absolutely great um, they're just sitting here turned off right now I don't even know it though since since we got back from the last camping trip there's been absolutely no charge going into this let me just t reach in there and turn the red switch on and well here we go have a look at the volt meter and see what the volts are like I mean they've been, it's been sitting here quite a few months now Thirteen point two four. This one says thirteen point three. So there you go. So that's pretty good. That's pretty good. And uh, of course the weight saving alone. Uh, but the amount of power I get out of those two one hundred amp hour lithium batteries is just totally incredible. And uh, so anyway, if you are looking for lithium batteries. All right, you can take my word on this, okay? And, um, you know, I mean, when I say stuff like that, I'm actually putting myself out there. 
Uh, you can take my word on that. Yes, they are a bit more expensive. You can get cheaper ones on eBay, but they're still a damn cheap battery, and they are what they say they are, okay? If you buy a 100 amp hour, you will be able to get a 100 amp hour out of it. Um, if you buy a 120, I mean, they make all sorts. They even do 24 volt batteries. So, um, yeah, I mean, if, if, if it's, a, it's a shame my vehicle's only 12 volt and not, not my old truck. My old truck was 24 volt, otherwise I would have gone 24 volt. But uh, the, the car does all my charging when I'm driving along with this solar panel. But anyway, so there's a catch up. We've got a lot of stuff coming. There's going to be some changes on the ute. You can already see, uh, you can see here these two big round circles where the spare tyres used to sit. And uh, they're now moved up the front because they're heavy. They are heavy. And uh, that was a lot of weight right on the back end. So we've moved the, we've tried to move the weight as far forward as we can or as possible. And, um, and try and, you know, just level it out a bit more, make it a bit more comfortable. Because we're going to be on some really bad corrugated roads that have never been graded and it's, uh, we don't get graded often. It's going to be a hell of a trip, people. I, I hope you've come along with it, okay? I hope you've come along for that trip. It'll be a, it'll be an awesome trip. We're going in the gold country, of course, so I'll be doing a bit of prospecting off camera. Um, I do have my miners right, and so does my wife. And we're also in gemstone country, so we'll be having a look around for gemstones and... Um, yeah, it's going to be an awesome trip. Anyway, I just wanted to touch base with you, let you know what we're up to. Um, I, I hope you, as many of you as, as possible can come along and in, enjoy the bush. We're going right out in the real bush. And uh, hopefully COVID won't get in the way of that. Um, all these... Um, emergency lockdowns snap lockdowns we we have you know they just go oh that's it it's locked down <coughs> but if we're already out there and they lock it down well then we're already out there that's great all right but uh yeah i, I hope you enjoy the upcoming build on the ute and um <coughs> of course we're doing it you know for a, uh we're doing it not as cheap as we can but we're doing it um we're not going the most expensive route. You know, we're doing it for reasonable cost. And uh, I'll be doing all the wiring, the DC wiring myself. And, um, yeah, we're going to be putting step lights in and all sorts of stuff. And, yeah, we're just going to... We're just going to make it as comfortable a second base as we can. And this one will just be our main base. All right, keep safe, everyone. I'll uh, just show you my glorious summer's day for all you people that are buried in snow right now. All right.